Hello, chaps and chapesses. Yes. See, I've not been missing again for a whole <laughs> week. And now I've got a co-host. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. And we've got another co-host. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. We've got Gigi. You've all been wanting to know Gigi. Well, here he is. The Gigi's doing nothing except sleep. So. <laughs> I'll let Sue describe what she's brought with her today. Oh yes, I brought a shawl. I'm sure I've shown it before. But I've put it away, as, as one does, in a safe place and forgotten where that safe place was. So I finally found it and I thought, oh, do you know what? I'm going to take its jams. Yeah. And we can sort it out for Etsy. Etsy. Well, it's not raining. It's raining. Yeah. And I can't even remember the yarn that I used. I can't, but... I'm not sure whether King or not Cole. it's a King Cole. Yeah, yeah, I was just going to say King Cole is bringing it down. Yeah. Yeah, let's twizzle it around the short back. Oh. She's not being twizzled, is she? She's not for going today. Lady Jane is not behaving. It's the fancy fans. There we go. It's been scrunched up in my bag, so... Yeah. But it's a pattern I love when a pattern Janet hates. <laughs> I don't hate it, I can't get going with it. Well it's one of them once she cracked it. Obviously. But it I'm did not take it. a while it did take a while to I've not I think I've told you before I'm not comprehended some patterns. Some yeah, patterns, we all have our like our blind spots, yeah. don't we? Some you know, it's like it just up doesn't and I'm away. Yeah, it just doesn't compute, does it? Yeah, yeah. And um, Way up. Be to a warehouse. Oh gosh. I've seen them, but of course Sue hasn't seen them. Oh, James C. Brett. Oh, Good old James, James C. C. Brett. Baby marble. I love that. Oh, it is. It's lovely for her. It's got pink in, so it can't be for a boy, but it's um, a nice colour for a little girl. It is. I've got 200 grams of that. Oh yes, because there's some like a, a purple lilac one. Yeah, I've got 300 grams of that one. And then some cottons. Yep, I like my cottons. Oh, drops muscat. It was on offer still, 85p. It's probably gone Oh, it's there. nice that. Yeah. This is BM2, it's got no colour name. It's just BM2. Right, let me look. That's that one. And you can see it, very pretty. I love James C. Brett, as you probably noticed. Um, and this one is BM22. Right. Again, no colour. But it's all lilacs and pinks. Well, mostly lilacs, I don't think there's much pink in that. Oh, it's lovely, that. Well, that's what I made the baby cardigan yeah. out of. Yeah. Finally finished the hoodie cardigan, apart from buttons. Well, so there's light a dark pink and a light pink a dusty pink maybe. yeah a very dusty pink yeah it's uh drops i keep calling it muskrat but it's not it's, it's muscat it's a lovely dusky pink shade and, and it was on offer at 85 but i think it's gone back up that lemons yeah it's it's uh, sort of just it's buttery not, yeah butter lemon isn't it it's yeah not, they don't have shades do they no, well, they, they don't do have names, shade numbers, but, but they don't give them names. That's 07, and the pink is. Oh, glasses. 05. I don't know what the deeper pink is. The deeper pink is. 29. 29. There we go. Three shades of muscat, not muskrat. Muscat. <laughs> and it's from Wool Warehouse. Oh, it's lovely. But it's it's worked up really nice, hasn't it? Yeah, it In certainly has. I'll show you the little cardi when I put the buttons on it. Ooh, very nice. I mean, the, that was the other ones in. Um, I can't remember that. That's ice cotton, I think, isn't it? That blue I've just done. That baby. That one. Yeah, I think that's. I ice. think it was. But it's it looks lovely. And I'm doing a pale blue one. If you were with me on um, the live video on Saturday. I started off one pattern but I decided that the yarn was more of a four ply than a double knit and it was looking very stringy so I took it back and started 
You're using the same it's pattern. It's looking lovely. But I've changed the stitch. I'll show you later when I've done it, finished it. So, apart from that, I've been nursing a dog. Ah! I've just been busy, sort of, you know, working. It's school holidays, so, mm. you know. I wish I could get say. Get a bit of childcare in and what have you. Yeah. It's like, oh. I finally put all my laundry away, my clean laundry. Finally put it all away. It's all on hangers and it's all in the wardrobe. So oh it's God. like, ta-da! But I've still got to hoover. I haven't really Yeah, yet. right. Yeah. So I, I'm not congratulating myself yet. Oh, no, congratulate I, yourself on. Oh, I mean, if you'd have seen how much laundry was. <laughs> I was washing it, I was folding it, but I wasn't putting it away. Well, I know, because we've had such such a lot of nice weather. Yeah. It's like, I'll think, oh, you know, put a strap of T-shirt on with a shirt over top. Yeah. And then it dawns on you when you've got mm -hmm. a load of ironing to do. Oh, God, shirts, yeah. they, they're brilliant, but you've got to iron them. But, I mean, my I'm, pile of ironing is... I'm such a hoarder. This top comes from... Um, when did I buy the suit? I had a cream-coloured suit. Uh, I must have bought it for some occasion. Yeah. Uh, suit's long gone, but the top's still here. It must be 20 years old, this top. Blooming heck. See, I hoard. I hoard. Yeah. I'm a terrible hoarder. <laughs> I think I am, really. I'm a hoarder. I'm well, in fact, I am. I'm a hoarder of clothes, unless they stop fitting me and I know that they're yeah. never going to fit me. Then I will get rid of them. And I did get rid of all my business suits. Yeah. Including this beautiful cream suit that I had. Um, <coughs> I think the cream suit actually went to my mum because she was going to a wedding. Right. And uh, oh, <coughs> I'm going to cough again. <coughs> it was just a plain straight skirt and jacket. Yeah. And I used to love it. I used to wear it with a bright pink shirt. Absolutely shocking pink shirt. Yeah. And... Um, yeah, Mum was going to a wedding, I think. So I said, oh, you might as well borrow my suit. Yeah. Because so, with it being cream, I couldn't really wear it at work. No. It was too... Um, oh. oh, that's my phone. Do you mind if I answer it? No, go on, answer right. your phone. It sounds like a siren in the background. <laughs> she could be being on grandma duty. Oh, it's getting louder. Well, I'm going to have two dogs this, af <laughs> this afternoon. Yeah, because I'm going to be looking after Poppy. You remember Poppy? Right, so. She'll be coming. Be about to say. Yeah. <laughs> so she's coming she's this afternoon. Okay. So we'll have I'm two dogs. Yeah? Yeah. We will. And tomorrow I think that Kelly might be coming. Right. So, I'm hoping that she does. Yeah, well, I'll be, I'll be there about the same time. Hmm. And we, um... Alright, I'll see you later, sweetie. <laughs> Bye. That's Sue ended the phone call. <laughs> Come back into the, to the light. I'm back. You're back. I'm back. I've never known a phone that rings like yours. Well... Like I've had all firing. sorts of different ringtones mm. and they just sort of, I don't know, just go over my head. And I said to kids, I said, look, you'll have to find me a ringtone that I can't ignore. Yeah. And it is, it's like a siren. Yeah. A proper, you know. Yeah. My phone's going weird. It keeps saying I've got a message when I don't have one. And the other morning, it was half past two, it woke me up. And I thought, who's sending me a message at this time of the night? You know, well, early morning. No message, just the phone. I mean, one of its little fits oh. on its own, yeah. It did that last night as well. Because I thought, who's... who's... I'd realised it had, it had run down. And yeah. I plugged it in before I went to bed. And then it went, message sound. And I thought, it's this time of night, you know, who's sending me messages? Nothing there. Oh. So I don't know why it just decides no. to play me. No, I knew. No, is But half two, was it half two? Yeah. Two o'clock, half past two, I wasn't amused. No. So. I bet you weren't. No, I wasn't amused. Because you get that sort of like moment of panic, don't you? Yeah. Oh my God, what's happened? Yeah. <gasps> Some disaster. You know? Yeah. Because you never think it's anything good. No. 
No, you, you don't, do you? You know, yeah. Men like that. Nah, it's it. no. Unless you're expecting a baby, it's. Well, I mean, they would tell me in the morning if it was yeah. a baby. It's nothing here yet. Nothing. He, he, not she. He isn't here yet. Um, no, they wouldn't. They'd tell me in the morning. Yeah, yeah. They wouldn't tell me. They wouldn't ring me in the middle of the night to tell me I was another great grandma. Um, no, they wouldn't do that. <laughs> well, man would. I'm sure they would. Oh yeah, well it's different. Yeah. It's your daughter, isn't it? So it's different. It's my granddaughter. That's so it. It's not yeah. Quite the same, is it? Yeah. <laughs> I just want the news when it happens. Yeah. But early hours of the morning, no. No, no, no. no Don't no. want to know that. <laughs> Be different if it was my daughter. Yeah. But the daughter I never had, by the way. <laughs> well, next door's still for sale. Is they've had lots and lots of people viewing it, a couple of offers and that, but I still haven't got a, a, a fixed new neighbour yet. So. No. 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 no, these things can sort of drag on, can't yeah. they? Yeah, it's, uh, but I mean, it's only been for sale about six weeks or so, yeah. so it's early days yet. Yeah. In the UK, the houses don't change hands quite as quick as they... No, they, 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 no, they string it out. It's... Mm. There's oh, no. Well, there's usually somebody else selling their house before they buy yeah. your house. So I don't think you have that problem in the US. They just seem to go see a house don't they yeah buy it and move in the next week but yeah you know well sick. that's it because we don't do that because it's like if you were to get do you remember bridging loans oh, i gosh, don't know if yeah. you still get them or what i don't know i really don't know i don't i've never heard of them now they used to be didn't yeah they? you used to hear of them a lot more than you do now yeah whereas you you know you could but i think you would sort of borrowed a certain amount of money against you know, yeah. you were going to sell your own house and you could yeah. buy your new one. But then, of course, it went wrong, didn't it, when a lot of people couldn't sell their other house and they were paying yeah. like two kind of mortgages, you know. So, thankfully, I've never had to sell a house yet. <laughs> Hopefully, I never will have yeah. to sell a house. Hopefully, maybe some's probably better. Yeah. I, you know... Oh, you see, I'm a bit spoiled because I've never... Had, Sort of like I had to do the move on the day. Yeah. And we were lucky when we moved to where we are now. Yeah. We were in a position that we could get that house and then do up and sell the old oh, house. Yeah, it's like, yeah. but I don't think we, we wouldn't be able to do that. No, we when we bought this no. house, they, they couldn't move. And we had like all our furniture in a removal van, <laughs> waiting for them to move yeah. out, and they hadn't got the keys. And I thought, this is what's going to happen. I thought we we're going to have to take the furniture. We didn't know where because it was yeah. all loaded up in the furniture van. Anyway, at the last minute they got the all clear. It was the other house. Yeah, they hadn't got the keys to the other house, so they were like in a situation where they're. Uh, removal van was all packed up and ready to go yeah. but they hadn't got anywhere to go either so there was like two removal vans in the street oh gosh <laughs> we couldn't move in um, because they were moving out and they wouldn't move out legally until, until they, they got their keys yeah oh what a good for that was yeah my ex-husband rang me up today and said do you realize what today is and i went yes it's our golden wedding <laughs> Oh, it would have been our golden wedding day. And it was a beautiful, beautiful day on the 10th of August. Yeah. 1968. It was gorgeous. And it's raining today. Ah! Just to ah, be honest. Ah. Yeah, it's been sort of miserable all morning, yeah. isn't it? All afternoon. But where's this heat wave they keep saying about on the telly? Well, we've had some of it, haven't no, we? No, but they keep saying it's still hot. It's still hot. Well, where? We had a few days couple of weeks ago didn't we where yeah. we had a bit of rain and it was yeah but I mean people down south are still saying oh it's so hot we've still got the heat wave here and I'm like north south divide isn't it <laughs> we didn't pay no, I think we've got the top end of a, yeah. a weather front that's come in a low area of low pressure yeah we obviously I didn't think. pay enough to, for the sun no that's it uh... <laughs> poor relations we don't get the sun well at least they called our hose pipe ban off yeah because we'd had some rain. That's good, that's good. Not that I was using a hospital no. anyway, but 
It's still good. No, oh, I, I used mine a couple of weeks ago, cleaning gutters, because we have the white UPVC gutters. Yeah, I think, no, I have grey ones. Like, oh. I have grey ones. I've actually got a tree growing out my chimney now. Ah! But there's no way I can get up there. <coughs> my son's no good on heights either, no. so it'll have to grow. <laughs> No, he's snoring away. He's probably got his eyes open. I can't see him. Uh, half and half, yeah. yeah. He's just chilled out. So, if you want to know stream. where my crocheting and crojo has gone, this, uh, is, this yeah. is where it's gone. Yeah. And well, I'm getting do, bits done. Well, I've got do, your blankets still being, you know, I'm getting the Scott. Are you watching? I've just cracked the whip on her this morning. Yep. Told her to get on with it. <laughs> No doing anything else? No. No. Oh God, no, I wish. I've not got the time. Good heavens. I should have all the time in the world and yet I keep buying yarn and my whole room stash room is getting worse. I know you all want to look round it but you're not looking round it at the minute because... We'll tidy it up. Kelly's going to <coughs> hopefully come tomorrow so I'm hoping she's going oh, to good all. do a start a bit. Yeah. Um, uh, see, I'm banned off ladders. Yeah. The light bulb went above the computer. I had to wait while my niece come to change it for me. <laughs> I'm terrible. Well, yeah, I nearly fell over this morning. I've got a quite a, a cluttered house in the fact that my furniture, there's not many inches or yards between furniture. And it's happened as well because I, I was carrying my washing through because I'd thrown it down the bottom of the stairs. I can't carry it now. And uh, as I picked it up, I must have trodden on the bottom of some of it. Right, and just and just went up. up. Boom. Oof. But luckily, uh, I fell into the sewing machine. Oh. <laughs> so, you know, having furniture all over the place, it does help because I don't actually fall as much yeah. as I would fall. Because something saves me. You've got me. something to... Something yeah. saves me. Look at this one. I know. I wish you could hear him. He's he's snoring his little head up. Yeah. Him. And all the ears are up and everything. Yeah. And if you're watching his Dina, eyes might be. I'm sorry, because it sends Dina to sleep. Like, right. Do you know something though? Since he's been here, I just go to sleep when I get in bed. It's funny, isn't it? I can hear the little gentle noise of him snoring yeah. next to me. And it's just like Oh, it's been blissful. Yeah. Instead of tossing and turning and being all over the place, I just fall asleep. I don't know if it's the fact I've got some little animal in the bed next to me. Yeah, just I, company, isn't I it? Just, know, yeah. Because yeah. he sleeps in his bed, but I put his little bed on top of my bed. So he's sleeping in his bed, not in my bed, if you know yeah. what I mean. But it's just the fact he's next door to me. It's got to be fun tomorrow, isn't it? What a night when we got all three of you. Uh, two oh of gosh, yeah. Poppy, me, and, and Gigi makes three. <laughs> Poppy doesn't go upstairs though. No. Poppy sleeps down here. Oh, what was oh. that? Did the church clock wake you up? Did it do that? I think that's a funeral. Yeah, because it's not. Or is it two o'clock? No. No, and it's definitely not three o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a funeral. For who the bell tolls. It's a poem, isn't it? Or is it a book? Can't remember. A book? Can't remember. I'm not one of these that can remember. I remember parts of I know of the, the, you know, the title, For yeah. Who the Bell Tolls. Or was it a film? Well, it's a film that's usually been a book before. <laughs> Picture <laughs> book. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shush, Gigi. Oh, has uh, it woke you up, love? Yeah. Somebody's very inconsiderate, aren't they? Having the funeral when you're trying to sleep. <laughs> He's still breathing deeply like that. You well, know, when does. you're going. He breathes deeply, but his eyes are wide open. Yay! He's dying shut him properly. I know, but he won't do because I'm talking, so he's nosy. So, yeah. I posted two shawls off to the US yesterday and I've got to post off oh, I don't know where I'm going to do it today because it's raining 
might have to be Monday before I post off the yeah. uh, summer top I've sold. So I'd better get my little hook going out and get yeah, going. Yeah, around. Yeah. Oh, have we got a car along? I would say, yeah. I, I thought, not my phone again. No, no different sort of alarm. It's a car alarm, isn't it? You're going to sit. Oh, dear. You're going to sit it there. says, oh, no. Oh, it's comfy before, but I want to get me drink. I need to no. wet me whistle. What was that? <sighs> it says, you've moved me. Yeah. And I'm not amused. He's a funny ossity. And, um, yeah. Yeah, you have something to play with tonight. Uh, GG, it's Poppy coming. Poppy coming today. Is he that you? dirty look you give me then? He's <laughs> 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 a very expressive dog. <laughs> he is very GG. Yeah, I'm wearing my jazzy jazzy skirt. Ooh. I know it's lovely. That combination of green and orange, you know, <laughs> in years gone by, you'd think, oh, green, and, oh, no. It's, like it's really quiet. Blue and green. My mother used to go mad. Blue and green, not fit to be seen. Yeah. Oh, she used to go mad if you put blue and green together. I don't know where that comes from. Oh, was from. it red and green? No, it's blue and green. I think it depends what bit of... Yeah. And my mother would I never have... have red and white flowers together. Especially, you never take them to a hospital. Where did they get these from? No. No, you could have red flowers. Yeah. You could have white flowers. But you couldn't put red and white flowers together. Weird. Mm. My news. Just different sort of. My mother had a lot of. Old wives' tales and My mother had a lot and of and those, yeah. Well, she used to trot them out. I don't mean the usual ones, like yeah. walking under a ladder. She had her own little set. Your mum, you know. Yeah. <laughs> well, we used to do that when we were kids, you know, when you're walking on the pavement. Oh, yeah, don't st step, step on, on a knicker, you'll marry a stick, stick and, and a something or other will come to your wedding. wedding. I can't yeah. remember what it was. I think it was just anything that was generally. Yeah. Oh, we used to have all that sayings. A lot, I mean, I watched a little programme on, on Facebook or on the TV where they were doing all these little sing song things we used to do when we were kids. And it's a shame now because they're being lost because we'd passed them through the generations, haven't we? Yeah, grandma, and kids don't mom, play out quite the same, do they? Do skip it's like more. I should imagine at school these days it's you know, did yeah. you see this on the TV internet stuff, or did yeah. you see that on the T V or You know, we had little rhymes for skipping. Did yeah. you never see kids skipping? No. We used to have a great big rope and we used to take turns at you Yeah. Know, yeah. Turning the rope or oh, we used to do two ropes, didn't yeah. we? Yeah. You know, there was always somebody's mother missing a washing line. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, skip. But we had all these little sayings that we used to say, you know, little rhymes yeah. that we used to do. And I mean, I, when I was watching this program, I thought, oh, I can remember that. But I'd forgotten it. Yeah. Yet. I mean, it just yeah. brought it back to the forefront of your mind. But the kids today wouldn't know what you were talking no. about. And it's such a shame that they're going to be lost. Yeah. You know, it is. Along with and do you remember Chinese skipping with the elastic? Oh God, well you, I nearly broke my neck a few times. With that. <laughs> yeah, you you know you get your spending money, get your two and six or whatever yeah. it was, and then you go and buy three or four yards of elastic, yeah. tie it into a thingy, and then you know it was like cat's cradle for your fingers. Yeah, though, isn't it? yeah. But oh, and yeah, you, you had to jump on the thingies and off mm. them. And no. the one thing that oh, I nearly broke my wrist on was those clackers. Do you remember the clackers? Oh, I remember clackers. Yeah, there were two massive big ball things, and they were heavy on these two things, and you had to shake them. Didn't you? And yeah, you just keep... you just bump them up and down, <coughs> and then you could sort of like make them do all sorts of tricks. tricks yeah, the, oh, yeah, the number of times I've whacked my wrist with those. So I wonder I didn't break anything. I think in the end they. Well, I must have had more success because I never hit my wrist with them. Oh, I used to smack my wrist, something terrible with them. Obviously no coordination. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, yeah, clackers, bloomin' night. How the heck I ever got through life without breaking something when I was a kid, I don't know. Because I was always yeah, falling I, and hanging I never... off things. And I was a right tomboy. I was always hanging yeah. off a tree somewhere, you know. 
That's yeah, a bit well, ladylike. No, yeah. well, we we used to I, local sort of like country park. Yeah, that sounds a bit grand, doesn't it? Country park, yeah. But um, they built a reservoir, and I must only have been that high yeah. when they were building it. But we used to sort of go yeah. down there and play a bit stream and. Yeah. God, we were never in. Well, <coughs> we used to always play <coughs> in a piece of grass that went down to a little stream at the bottom, behind the allotments. We used to call them hen pens, but yeah. they were like allotments. Um, obviously built during the dig for victory or whatever it was yeah. during the war. But then they decided to take them all down and build houses. Well, first of all, it was like a child's revolt. We yeah. don't want houses on our bit of land. We want to stay playing here, you know. And eventually they started playing with these, making these houses. And we used to play in and out of the houses because, yeah. of course, they didn't have doors on. You know, and we used to say, oh, we've got bathrooms in now and they've got toilets in now. We used to go and have a look every day. <laughs> see what they'd done. And then the night watch would come out and say, me laugh, yeah. We weren't doing any harm. We weren't destroying anything. Yeah. You know, we were just running in and out of the houses, up and down the planks. Yeah. You know, they put planks for the wheelbarrows to come. Yeah. Because most houses in the UK are built out of bricks. They're not built out of wood or... No. Or, well, I don't know what they're built out of these days, but back in my day, they were built out of bricks. Bricks, yeah, they're not as many... There aren't as many like wooden frame ones, No, are no, no. So you could see these rooms, <coughs> and then you'd watch them going past the first, and then they'd build the second storey, but they hadn't put the floorboards in. Yeah. So they'd have these planks going up and we put up these planks and of course I mean we could have fallen off and broken something but... so that's why the watchman coming yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know your mother <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell the bobbies over you please wait. tell the bobbies over you oh gosh we used to think it was funny to go yeah. running around and hide from him <laughs> if we got brave we'd sneak round the back of his foot you know right <laughs> <laughs> Bang on his foot and run away. <laughs> oh no, we were always down in, you know, in fields. Yeah. And well, we were until they built these houses you know, on it, yeah. Um, building yeah. dams in stream. And we thought they were ever so good. And like, you, you knew for a fact, really, that three hours later they'd be all washed away. Yeah. Poking at rats with a stick. Oh God, no, we never did that. That's me. I didn't know they were biting. Oh gosh, no. no. We used to go, there was a sewer that linked went underneath the main road but it was child height and it linked it to a park across the road where we were told we couldn't go across the main road so what did we do we used to walk under the road right. under the sewer and we, we'd come back in and my mum used to go <laughs> you've been in the sewer <laughs> there's rats in that sewer and you'd see their eyes you know light up I mean I'd be scared to death now yeah. But when I was about six oh, or seven, I think it, it was... a kid, I think I'd have been a bit. No, I used to poke them and shove them off with a stick. Right. And they used to run away because they were scared of us. Yeah. Yeah. There's me, heroic. No, we we just had to... We were always just told to be careful crossing road and then um, crossing the railway Yeah. at the station. Yeah. Oh, we didn't have a railway. Oh, we did, but... But the door, you know, the gates shut automatically when there was... Yeah. Any trains due. You know, mm. so it was just like a case of we just had to open the gate and, you know. Well, across, yeah. But we had a damn good view either way. Yeah. No, we had a station, but it was like a dead end. Yeah. It didn't go in, it, you know, we were like. Yeah, any stop. goods trains or anything, express yeah. trains tended to go through at night, yeah. so. Got hair. It was generally only. Yeah. And there was like where they used to store the coal. Yeah. Uh, the coal had gone, but because of oh, the station. Then, yeah, we used to have engine sheds. Yeah. Just up from yeah. station. I mean, there's a housing estate on it now. Yeah. Used to go but collect I coal. vaguely remember engine sheds. Yeah. Go collect coal, shovel full of coal. Because I can remember as kids, <laughs> you know, if, if, if anybody got wind that there was a steam train coming oh, through. Oh, gosh. We'd all go and sit and wait for mm. the steam train. Or if if we found out about it early enough, yeah. there was a little place you could walk and there was a footbridge over the railway. Yeah. And we used to want to stand on the footbridge when the mm. steam train went under it. I can remember going to Wales on a 
steam train. And it says, don't hang your head out the window, but you know you were kids, you always put your head out the window, didn't you? And um, this blooming great big piece of soot. Yeah. Blew in my eye. Oh. And my mother's there with Carnival Anki trying to get it out of my yeah. eye. And I spent the first half of my holiday like that because... <laughs> All through being nose, yeah. and so it's big finger suck come flying in my eye. But uh, I used to love the way they smelled when they went in a tunnel. Yeah, they did have a certain smell. Oh, but yeah, because yeah, there was always windows open yeah. know, on the train and that. And you got this really lovely smell. I mean, it's probably bad for you. Oh, wow. But <laughs> what isn't these days? But this lovely smell used to come through of the engine, the smoke and everything. When you went in this tunnel, it was really mixed with dark and dank. Yeah, and dead sort of sulphurous, wasn't it? Yeah. You know, really so, yeah. Oh, I used to love them steam trains. Not the same with diesel, no. is it? No. No. Sometimes... I knew when I were married and kids were little, mm. we lived in uh, a street that backed onto a railway, yeah. a railway line. And one of the neighbors um, was a retired British Rail. Yeah. And his ex colleagues used to ring him up and say there's a steam train due. Yeah. And we'd sit for hours with kids on Yeah, waiting for it to come through. Railway wall. Waiting for it to come through and then give it a wave. I can remember um you know sometimes you'd be on a oh, like the railway children. Yeah, really. yeah. <laughs> sometimes you'd be on a train, wouldn't you? And you were running parallel with another train. Yeah, and that's I used to strange, love yeah. that, and I used to think, "Are oh, we going to crash?" And they'd both be chugging along, and there's all this smoke coming out, and then all of a sudden, like one would divert one yeah. way, one would divert the other. But for quite a while, you were like side by side, yeah. and you're thinking, "They're going to crash? Are they going to meet?" That used to happen going into Victoria years yeah. ago. Yeah, are they going to meet? Are they going to crash? Woo! This is exciting. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. And I used to love those windows that had like a big piece of leather. And you had to pull them up, didn't you, and hook them on a big hook thing. Because the windows used to... And sometimes when you were going along, the window would just suddenly go vroom, <laughs> drop down on its own. No, I don't remember that. Oh, part. yeah. There used to be separate carriages. Yeah. Remember that, all separate carriages in the corridor. Yeah. Um, we didn't used to get those a right lot. Yeah. On our line, yeah. Um, but sometimes you get the odd one, and no, us as kids, yeah, we used to think, oh, this is different, you yeah. know, because they're like different compartments in a corridor rather than, yeah, you know, just like a bus with. There were two sorts. There was one that was separate carriages, but no corridor. Yeah. You know, when you were in, you were in, and then there was another one that had like a narrow corridor. Yeah. But the windows used to come down and they had this big leather strap and there was like a brass circular thing. Like, oh, I always remember, like no, hooks I in a belt. Like, you yeah. just had to press it and pull it, you know. No, no, these were um, <coughs> before that. And they'd work loose and sometimes you'd just chundle it along and all of a sudden, boom, this window would just drop down and everybody in the carriage would jump out the skin. And then you get the most muscular man trying to haul it back up again. Because it was like hauling something yeah. leather belt and then you hooked it back on this hook. Right, no, don't <coughs> And as kids we weren't strong enough. Yeah. So when he wanted to open the window, he used to go, he used to go run away from you and drop right down. And then all these women were going, oh, shut the window, shut the window, because it was blowing their air everywhere. <laughs> no, no, it's something I did. Oh, just, gosh. I don't remember that. Yeah, well, I'm older than you, so yeah. that's, uh, that was my experience of trains. Yeah. <laughs> Mind your head. Please do not lean out of the window, it used to say above the yeah. windows. Yeah. Because the I trains remember those to, signs. Yeah. yeah, the trains used to come so close to each other. You wouldn't yeah. <laughs> if you hadn't have been decapitated, you'd have a very bad headache. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, we still got the church bell clonking and we still got a dog Tolling. Bell. Tolling. Yeah. The the bell that, yeah. Tolls, yeah. Tell Tolling. us where that's from. Yeah. It tolls not for thee, is it, something? I, Jan, I've no idea, but I just know for whom the bell tolls is either a book or a film or mm. something. Mm. A book or a film. Yeah. <laughs> 
You can tell we've lived a, a funny childhood, can't you? <laughs> Mind you, I don't think we'd have read For Whom the Bell, Bell Tolls and watched it as kids. It sounds far too... I don't know. I used to read some very strange things when I was a child. <laughs> I was a very avid reader. You know, I used to get told off because I'd be reading the HP sauce bottle when I was a kid. <laughs> I had to read everything, you know, and... Um, like you say, you were in a uh, very few times we ever went in a cafe, but I'd be there reading the, the menu yeah. and, and then I'd be reading things that were on the wall. Same with the doctor's surgery, yeah. you blood and all that. I'm always reading them. Yeah. I'm just a compulsive reader. Right, oh. I have to read. I enjoy sign. reading, but you know. No, when I'm in the doctor's, I have to read every sign, even if it doesn't. <laughs> you know, it doesn't have anything to do with me, you know. I was sat there reading about <coughs> shingles the other day when I was oh waiting. Oh gosh, thrilling. I've had my shingles injection, it'll be good to know. Yeah, reading all about shingles. Then I went on to the carers. Are you a carer? Yeah. <laughs> well, they have all sorts, don't they? There's not many magazines in our doctors. I mean, I used to love these really oldy worldy magazines. Do you know, I always remember being a kid. Yeah. And I must have been really quite small. Mm hmm. And it was Dr. Carney's surgery. And you all sat round on, like railway benches, if you yeah, would, yeah. <laughs> waiting for you to go in. And there was a poster on the wall. And it was sort of like, it said at the top, it said scabies. And then in brackets underneath, I can picture this poster yeah. like it was yesterday. Mm -hmm. In brackets underneath, the itch. And then a big circle with this like creepy crawly in it. <laughs> Which is obviously some sort of flea or, you know, well, whatever. Well, baby thing, the little yeah, bites, aren't they? Yeah, mites. But it was like the size of a football. <laughs> and I, I remember being sort of worried, not scared or anything, but, but worried, worried about this. And if you've been to the doctors yeah. and seen this sign, yeah. and then hours later you had to scratch yeah. you got something, you'd oh. think... Oh God! Oh, God <laughs> I've been bitten by one of these football-sized. <laughs> As if you wouldn't notice it's going to be football-sized things. But it, no, I can picture it to this day. You don't hear of it as much do you, these days. Do you? No, but I can. This, this, this oh. scabies and brackets the itch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, doctor's waiting room was like that. Just like old-fashioned leather chairs. It looked like he collected dining chairs that nobody wanted for right. oh, like no, the last these 12 were like years. A, sort of a bit like a, you know, railway carriage sort of seats. Yeah. But just bench seats no, all the way like, around. Sort of like... And it had a lovely big table in the middle. Yeah. There was still a fireplace. It used to sometimes have yeah. a fire if it was cold. And, um, yeah, you all sat around on these, like, overstuffed <laughs> dining chairs. <laughs> and then you'd get people like standing outside or they'd have the door propped open and if it was <coughs> cold and the fire was open they'd be saying shut the door <laughs> and then this little lady used to keep popping around to see if there was a spare seat you know see if anybody had gone in but i tell you what if you dared go in before you am i after you oh dear. yeah you oh yeah you had to mentally clock who was in the yeah. waiting room and yeah they didn't shout your name you used to just shout next didn't they yeah there was none of this appointment system stuff you just went I mean, the number of times I used to go to the doctors, pop my head around, think, oh, I'm not stopping there. There was falling everywhere. Yeah, that were it. It's sort of like, you knew so coming after you, so you knew you were before them. Yeah, yeah. And it was just trying to clock who was before you. Yeah. And what made it worse, there was two waiting rooms in our doctors. There was, it was a badly converted house. Yeah. So there was like two, what would have been the living room and the dining room or whatever, I suppose. So you never knew quite who was in that. For the room, you know. Yeah. Or whether they'd gone to see, there were two doctors. Yeah. Whether they'd gone to see the other doctor, and I, I don't know. Well, it was weird. Eh, <sighs> well. Never any appointments. It was much better, though, if you could go in. Yeah. You used to go in sometimes, and nobody in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've picked the right minute, there's nobody in. <laughs> oh, so flipping out. Dear, nowadays, God, you have to. I know. Have your leg cut off before you could even get the appointment. I know, off. that's it. Yeah, I get a message today saying my blood test results. I yeah. did a blood test on for me. Diabetes. 
obviously if something's come up it'll be the levels are wrong and you have to have a a telephone interview he says with the nurse so I rings up this morning oh um, we can't do that until um, next week it'd be next Friday what if it's not urgent it? yeah well, no, I've got an appointment this afternoon, yeah. so I'm going to have to shoot off in a minute or so. Yeah, so it takes a week uh, for a telephone interview. I know, it's ridiculous. It'll be ten minutes, I'll be told off. I'll be saying what you've been eating, what you've been doing. And I've been trying to be so good. Yeah. And it seems like the more I try to be so good and eat salads and everything, the more... The worse it gets, yeah. yeah. The more my sugar why? goes up. Why? I mean, the best level I had it was a few months ago, and I'd forgotten to take my tablets the day before and that day. And she goes, "Oh, she says everything's come down. It's lovely." And I'm thinking, "Why am I taking all these tablets then?" <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, if I don't take them, my levels come down. Strange. Mm. I didn't know. Oh no, mine's been me back. I have another injection. Oh, I want to go. I haven't got an appointment now. Have you not? Give him a ring. I keep thinking that, and then it's always like a Friday. Yeah. You think they always close early on a Friday, don't they? So. No, they don't. Yeah. No, they don't. Oh, gosh. No, just get them rung up. If I ring up, they say, oh, his secretary's not in at the moment. Can you leave a message? I always get that. Well, leave a message, and then leave one next week, and then the yeah. week after. I'm the person that they don't get back to. You know that? <laughs> mm. I go into a big hole. <coughs> when it comes to a hospital. I think we all do for, you know. Yeah, a great big hole, don't we, G? Yeah. Better if you, I'd be better going to the vet. You can always get in the vet. <laughs> yeah, that's true, you can. <laughs> There's a thought. Yeah, you can always go to the vet. Yeah. Right, let's get on to it, vets. Yeah, I bet they know more about my skeleton than they do about... <laughs> <laughs> my doctor does. I, mean, I, I know things can get dear at the vets, but I bet it's still cheaper than National Health. <laughs> If, you know, well, not National Health, but you, you had to pay bribes out of it. That's the only problem. We used to, we looked, when I was married and we had more money, obviously, we looked into this private, Booper, you know, Booper, yeah. yeah. Um, because there was some scheme at Alan's Works that you could yeah. join for cheaper or something. But it means you're paying twice because you're still paying into the National Health. Yeah. And you're still paying into Booper. Yeah, but well, the thing is, it's sort of like, you can be a bit selective. Mm. But um, what... What put me off Booper was the fact that they won't take you on for an existing yeah. ailment. Well, I already knew I had a bad back even way yeah. back then. And I knew I had a bad knee way back then. So I wouldn't have got treatment no. for my back or for my knee. Because they don't cover yeah. you for existing ailments. Oh, well. Oh, oh well, so there's no point of joining. <laughs> <laughs> right, shall we wind up, cos? Yes, it's going to have nice. to go. Isn't it nice? She's going for an injection. No, I'm not going for the injection, I'm going for consultation. I haven't even got my consultation. You have injection, consultation, then injection. Yeah, then consultation. but I have my injection. When was it? After Christmas, know. it was after Christmas. Just, oh, yeah, just. Yeah. Oh no, get on to them. So six months, I should be having my consultation yeah. by now. To see whether everything went all right. And I am the one that gets forgotten. Well, remind them who you are then. Excuse me, don't you know I'm the queen? Yeah. <laughs> I'm the queen of my street. Yeah. <laughs> if nowhere else, yeah. yeah. Oh, by the way, I've got my crown. They yeah. told me that I had to wear a crown for my life. All oh, right, so you did. So your I've tiara. Got, I've got my tiara. I yeah. spotted your tiara. Yeah, I've yeah. got my tiara. I got told if I, I had to show up tomorrow night wearing my crown, but... Crown was a little over the top, so... Well, yeah, the, well, the Queen only wears her crown for state occasions, yeah, so, I, I, so I, I, you know, I got a, a tiara. I got I a tiara. I think a t tiara will suffice. Yeah. Real diamonds, of course. Oh, of course. Five pounds from Amazon. <laughs> of course. I should wear it at all occasions. <laughs> from now on, I'm going to wear it when I'm shopping. <laughs> right. <laughs> It's that bad woman from down there. <laughs> the one who dresses a bit weird. She's wearing a tiara now. <laughs> who does she think she is? <laughs> oh no, I think it'd be fun to be the mad woman from. <laughs> well, I'm halfway there. Yeah. I don't keep cats though. 
No, that's true. Mm. He's got a strange dog, though. Mm, we've got a little dog yeah. that thinks he's a Almost, cat. Yeah. yeah. Bless it. Now, every time I see the, those things adopted, you know, this, these two cats weren't adopting and stuff like that, I'm like, <laughs> I have to hold myself back. Yeah. It's like when you see wool on sale, I have to hold myself back. Yeah. <laughs> No, you've got your little visitors. Yes. I won't be doing much crochet, by the way, this week, but don't expect a lot. I should be happy I if shall, I sold... I will try and find something to bring next yeah. time. I should be happy if I get the motive sewn on my pram blanket and the buttons sewn on yeah. two cardigans, three cardigans. I've got one button to put on the white one. Oh. Yeah. Well, there you are. That's your job for now. Right, come on, I've got to wind this up. I've got to move. <laughs> She's got to leave us. I have. Say goodbye, Gigi. Bye, Gigi. Gigi's down here. He's sleeping. He says on now. He says, I've just got comfy says, again. No, She's got to move me again. Well, I should go to the post office, but I don't know what I want to. It's going to rain again. It is. I hate getting wet. It's funny, when you're going in the scooter, you get wetter. Yeah. Because it seems to come at you while yeah. you're driving along on your scooter. And I hate putting that rain cover. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> I feel like I'm fastened up in a bubble thing. Yeah. Just got your little face showing, you know. Yeah. Mm, no. <laughs> oh no. Well, is it not on tomorrow morning? Yeah, but I go shopping on the Saturday. Ah morning. right. Yeah. So it's going to have to be Monday. Right. If you're the person who's bought me the sweater, so it's going to have to be Monday now before I get there. Right. All then. Yes. I'm going to leap up. Am I turning it off? Yeah, she's going to leap. Leap? Oh, no, leap is probably the wrong word. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely Struggle. the wrong word. Struggle. <laughs> I'll get there. So I shall so, see you all bye, tomorrow. So bye, bye. I'll, I'll see you tomorrow. But Sue won't. No. Yeah. So, we'll so bye. Bye, everybody.